Well, I think that the main, uh, the main results of our analysis is that we're going to change, that we're going to gradually change diet from, if I look at what happened in the last, in the last 50 years, we went from a, a fat diet, prevalent fat diet, to a prevalent carbohydrate diet in the developed world, right? I do think that we're going to gradually reverse that, right? So we're going to effectively reduce consumption of carbohydrates, that's already happening, and we're going to increase the consumption of fat. Now, if you look at meat has no carbohydrates in it, very, very little, right? And it's fundamentally a mix of, you know, protein and fats, right? And so I do think that that becomes sort of the, one of the beneficiaries of the change in trend. Meat has clearly a role, right, in, uh, in, uh, in our diets, right? The question, obviously, is how much, right? And, and the how much, it depends genetically. There's also differences on a, on a genetic basis, right? There's not a general rule that, that applies. What does apply, though, is that meat is, by all humans, you know, a preferred nutrition source, sort of nutrition, right? So, so clearly, meat has a, a role. Now, the problem is meat is being mass produced. You have all the images of meat. So you go into the ethical side of it, right? Is the right killing animals or not? You know, uh, are these animals treated fairly, right? So I do think there is an image of meat and there is a medical nutrition side of meat, right? And the two obviously are mixed, are mixed together, right? But it's medically wrong to say meat is bad for you, right? Because it's ethically not good or because it increased global warming or whatever other reason, right? So the problem is that you have several topics coming and colliding at the same time, right? So meat is a natural product, right? Now, are we producing, the big question from my point of view is, are we producing meat in a natural way? And what was the natural way of producing meat? It's like the cow is eating grass and living in a very open space, you know, and, and then obviously some of the cows we're going to eat them, some we're going to let them, you know, have babies, some are going to produce milk, etc. right? The problem is I think we make industrialization of a product that was very natural to the point where the general perception is not a natural product anymore, right? The feed pens is not, are not natural, right? Um, you know, they solve one problem, right? They solve the problem of the cost. Of meat, obviously, is a lot more expensive to produce meat if I gave free access to grass to cows, right? Versus if I uh, feed them with grains, which is a lot cheaper, right? But cows were not born to eat grains. Last point of this that to me is is very important is price, right? So if you look right now, and obviously I live I live in New York, but if you look at that in New York, the price of a grass-fed beef is twice the price of, you know, grain-fed beef, right? Grass-fed milk is twice, it's more, actually it's 150% higher than the price of, you know, normal, normal milk. So there is a market, right? So I think the trend, what should happen is naturally, is how do we, but is it idealistic, right? How idealistically can we move to produce meat in a more natural way? And that obviously has a cost issue attached to it, right? That's a, that's a problem, right? is price. So what we've done, but this is not just meat, everything, right? We make it industrialized so it's more accessible to people, right? Our issue was years ago, we had, a lot of years ago, we had 3 billion people in the world. And, we, and at some point, someone said, oh, we're going to have 5 billion in 20 years. How do we feed them, right? And then it was like 7. Now we're close to 9, right? And so you, the only solution to that is you industrialize the production of food, right? I think that is logical, right? The question, I think, in, order, in, in, in the industrialization of food, you cut a lot of corners, right? And effectively, probably, in a lot of things, the, the quality of what we eat right now is a lot less. And quality has a lot of different uh, aspects to it. The word quality is very, very uh, wide, right, in terms of scope. But what we do have now, for sure, is that we have a lower quality product, right? There's no question about it, but cheaper.
there is a demand on the other side of I want natural products, I want like, not sourced from mass production, right? And I want chicken that been feeding in the in the in the sort of in the grass in the free, right? Free range, free range chicken, right? Versus cage, you know, chicken. So so then there is a higher price, and we're willing to pay a higher price for those goods. But the reality is that who is paying the higher price is people that can pay the higher price, right? So now you introduce one thing that's always been a, a source of contention, right? Richer people will eat better, be healthier, live longer, and poorer people will eat worse and live and live and live less, right? There is no, I, mean, I don't think there's an alternative to that, right? Idealistically speaking, it would be nice to be on a, on a playing ground, but we will not, right? 